Hey guys, so Lord here, back again with another edition of What's in the Box. What's in the freaking box? Well, I'll tell you what's in the freaking box. Be patient, dang it. Because today, I got yet another package from my good buddy, Evil Villain. As always, I will leave a link in the description below to his Instagram. Head on over there, let him know I sent you. But as always, be nice. I will find you, and you will be destroyed. But as far as this box goes, there's actually a series of boxes, three to be exact. And the first one mostly had accessories, starting off with the Demona wings that are currently attached to my Demona, which aren't loose as hell. It is possible. Good things do exist in this world, and that is one of them because Evil Villain is not a fan of those wings uh, like everyone else. They take up too much freaking room. But me being the gargoyle shill, I am want all the wings. I want the cloaks. I want the spread out. And I want the A shape the most. They're out, but they're not spread out all the way. And they're kind of relaxed, but they're not like a cape. So not sure when the heck we're going to get those. But for now, it looks like we are going to get some cloak wings for Demona at some point. They showed them at Comic-Con last year, but... Uh, we have yet to see even what figure is supposed to come with those, which... If it was Ninja Turtles, I feel like the situation would be completely different. But, moving on from that, uh, really happy that I have some wings on my Demona that aren't loose as heck. The other thing, which I already reviewed, <laughs> much like Demona, got the McFarland Toys, Munitions Pack 1. Um, I took a look at this almost, well, just over a week ago at this point and really love that set I cannot believe he was able to hook that up but uh, he got a hook up he also got one as well for a ridiculous price was it five bucks it's crazy they want a lot more than that on evil bay for that set so I'm very happy to finally have one of those I need to get the second one it's got the Frankenstein gun in it but uh, it's way less versatile than this one so uh, thanks again, my man. That is awesome. Moving on from that, though, uh, we do have a couple of extra bits here. Uh, I got a axe for my riot, an extra one, and uh, this is cool because uh, I like him with two axes. And I traded him a was it a venom head or something? It's something I wasn't using, so I figured, what the heck. I'll do the trade. I'm more or less going to use this as opposed to that Venom head. Even though that Riot figure does not have the best quality control on it. It's kind of gummy in places like Marvel Legends have been lately. Even on good body molds like Monster Venom, unfortunately. And then there are a couple other things that aren't present. Uh, he did send me a second, speaking of which, Monster Venom Wave Venom figure on the atrocious Hyperion body. Uh, that's mostly for me to make pork grind. I believe was it spider ham came with the pork grind head, which fits on that monster venom body. I think I had it on the Hyperion one, which the colors didn't match that great. So I'm trading him the, um, not Hyperion, Absorbing Man Wave Venom. The whole thing. I just said, screw it. I'll trade you the whole figure minus the hands because I want the claws and stuff. I have the transforming uh, Eddie Brock head from the Venom 3 pack on the uh, other monster Venom wave Venom I have. That's a, Try saying that five times fast, seriously. And the other thing he sent me is the Masterverse Savage He-Man. Uh, thankfully, not broken. Yay! Uh, three times the charm, I guess. But yeah, that's on the shelf and so is Pork Grind. I forgot to grab those before I filmed this video, but hey. I got everything else sitting here. Why don't we talk about that? Because we do have a couple of things that I did already review in the Super 7, the Worst Ultimates, Captain Deadstar, and Batula, or as I like to call them, Batula, blah, 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 blah. And that is actually Batula number two. Uh, if you watched my atrocious Batula video from last week, I would recommend you watch it, but... Uh, that would be a crime against humanity. Mine's leg on the left side broke. Uh, this one, that didn't happen, but dang it all if it wasn't tight as hell. Like, it was really tight. I'm kind of glad it was ice cold, because if it wasn't, I don't know if I would have got it to crack. 
So uh, they got to loosen that up. They got to tighten up some other things. But of the two, Batula is the superior figure from a quality standpoint. From a sculpt standpoint, I'm of course going to side with the cyborg skeleton space pirate okay that's just for me that whole aesthetic going on there is awesome compared to just a bat in a suit you know uh, that said though that gosh darn parrot should have mounted on the right shoulder that's really the thing that bugs me the most because they showed it that way in the promo images but when he came out he's got a peg hole on the left shoulder but not the right why just why there's a whole lack of communication going on with this line so far, and I'm hoping Wave 2 doesn't have those problems. I'm hoping they go back to using ab crunches and like rubber overlays, because that's what they're good at. That's what the Thundercats are, that's what my other Super 7 Ultimates are, that's what we need to do going forward. Screw this torso cut, I don't need it to rotate the diaphragm. I'm happy with an ab crunch so long as it doesn't look too atrocious and they look pregnant when you bend it, okay? That said, we do also have the premium DNA Madballs horn head. Uh, as a kid, I did have both horn head and skull face, so I'm happy to have horn head. I want skull face, but I think these are going for a lot of money nowadays, so uh, that's not going to happen probably, which sucks, because I like to have the dynamic duo of my childhood as far as Madballs go. But him and both the worst ultimates I did post reviews of already. I usually don't do that. Uh, typically, if I do something like that, it's only like one thing from a box, but I needed content and that was all I had. So, uh, shout out to Evil Villain for pretty much being the sponsor for the channel for the past week. We had the gun pack, we had the worst figures, we had Hornhead. That's four videos right there. And the Plunderling, five. That's almost a week's worth of content just from Evil Villain alone, which, uh, I'm very much appreciative of because your boy is flat broke thanks to all these gosh darn pre-orders i just uh gave four horsemen like 200 bucks of my money and i still haven't heard crap on that as of the time i am recording this video but uh speaking of uh this past week my papa emeritus ultimate uh, i'm actually getting a second one from bbts so uh that is awesome so a shout out to BBTS, a shout out to Rudy from Super 7 for hooking up that Batula. Strange thing though, I didn't get like an email saying that that thing ships, that's very odd. But uh, speaking of Super 7, we have some reaction figure action going on. Uh, I love Masters of the Universe, don't get it twisted, but I never bought any of the reactions, I just didn't really care. But Evil Villain was nice enough to send me some that he had, and as... To my understanding, uh, I think this is all the ones he had. And right now on BBTS, they actually got some for really cheap. I wouldn't mind picking up a couple of the Evil Horde members I don't have. Uh, kind of sucks we never got a Leech or any other Snake Men, because I could have built those teams out. But, oh well, I suppose. <laughs> but uh, in the meantime, we do have Man at Arms. We have Cobra Khan, as I like to call him. Cobra Khan! Who I was able to get in on another pre-order through BBTS for the Origins line, along with Ratlore and on Entertainment Earth Tongue Lasher. Not sure why the snake dude's so hard to get, but whatever, I guess. As long as I got a line on him, I don't care. Then we also got the Evil Horde. We got Hordak, whose arms pop out. So, is he supposed to have, like, swappable arms or some crap? Or was that just the SDCC version? Because wasn't there an SDCC two-pack version of him and she -Ra? Right? Maybe? Did they ever make She-Ra single-carded? Because I wouldn't mind picking up her to get crap knocked out of her by him and Grizzlor there. But uh, yeah, we got Grizzlor too. And then we got half of Modulock. They have the other half on BBTS and they have the two-headed version. So I'm debating on getting all two of the ones I don't have because I have a problem. Especially when stuff's like less than $10. But speaking of Masters of the Universe, we also have a couple of classics. Uh, we got the Bubble Power, quote-unquote, She-Ra, and the PowerCon exclusive mini-comic Beastman. I traded my extra Masterverse Beastman for that, so I'm very happy to have a Classics Beastman. That sculpt is really nice. I'm not the biggest fan of Classics. I like Classics a lot, don't get it twisted. You know, he sent me De Demo Man and Drago Man this past year. Those are two of my favorites, along with the Faceless one. Heck, I designed one of my own characters after the faceless one named the Oracle. So, uh, 
yeah, I don't hate classics, but as far as, like, modern standards go, they are rather inferior to Masterverse and Origins as far as articulation goes. You can't really do a lot with these. But the sculpts and the paint are pretty top-notch. So, you know, take that as you will. But as far as the she goes, it's kind of funny. She's not really Bubble Power she -Ra. She's actually the first she with the Bubble Power parts. Uh, I have the Bubble Power head and crown on that figure, along with the armor. I don't know if the sword and the shield have the pink gem or the blue... Is it the blue gem that was on the first release? I can't remember. But she also has that comb axe. Uh, I do have an extra comb axe, and I do have... The original Shira head, where the crown just plugged into the forehead there, and you were left with a bullet hole through the skull Shira. So if you wanted to make it look like Hordak blasted her in the face, could put like a blood effect on there and uh, give Hordak the cannon arm. That's kind of gruesome, but there you go. And then there's the better look at the comb axe. It's kind of funny. So you could comb her hair and then go cut someone's head off. Um, got two of those. Uh, only one shield and one sword, though. So that's very interesting. So I'm curious what this thing's previous life was because he got it off eBay loose like that. So I, I'm curious what happened to the actual Bubble Power she figure because it's like we got both heads here. We got the comb axe. I assume they just didn't want that. And then one shield and one sword. I'm curious what shield and sword I got, but it's fine. I dig it. It's a classic Shira. I did not have one of those, and now I have He-Man, Skeletor, Hordak, and Shira in classics form. I'm stoked. I'm totally okay with that, and not for nothing. But this is the Shira where the legs don't really get a lot of range. I'm kind of okay with that because that means if they get loose, they ain't gonna be able to move like at all. So. Yay me! I won't have to pick her off the floor a lot, maybe. I don't know, probably. It's my luck. But, speaking of Masters of the Universe, still? Still with the Motu. What's this, T-Biz's channel? He sent me some battle tribes that uh, are homages to Masters of the Universe characters. I only got one of them here. Uh, the rest are in the bag, which I will show the bag in a second, but... We got Skeletor, okay, as a Battle Tribes figure. This thing is freaking badass, all right? So the, he's going to stay this way forever. I'm pretty sure he comes with his axe and his sword. I don't know, but I, I love this little dude. This is awesome. This is probably my favorite Battle Tribes he sent me, other than the Diablo guy. Other than the Diablo guy, because I really like that Diablo guy. Lord of Terror, actually. Diablo is not the name of the character. Then we got this bag full of other Glios figures here. Uh, actually, this one I forgot to throw back in there. He's like this little space marine guy with a pistol. And then we got uh, a couple of... We got one that's supposed to be... Well, this is just a generic guy. But then we got one that's Thundar, which is pretty sick. Oh, no, that's not Thundar. That's a He-Man one. Got the He-Man one. Go with the Skeletor, of course. We got... There's the Thundar one. He's right there. There's Thundar. There's Faker, who I think came with the shield. There's... lion -O, Which threw me off, because I wasn't expecting him to have the Mohawk. But the Panthro figure... Should be in here somewhere. There he is. Also has, like, an Orc head. So I guess that makes sense. We got this guy, we got this guy, we got this guy, we got all these freaking glass. Like, I have, like, a Battle Tribes collection for the Age of Night. This clear skeleton guy, I think his name's a Jewel Thief. And he's kind of the only one of these. I don't know, he still kind of stinks. These guys stink. I don't know what the deal with that is. Must just be the wax and the plastic or something. Another orc dude. But this, I guess this clear skeleton guy is like top tier too. Another orc. Then we got some loose weapons in the bottom. I don't know if I have any clear purple weapons for this dude in particular. 
but uh, I'll have to check. But he's really cool. I dig him. But that is, I think that's everything that I can think of. And a side note about the reaction figures, he actually found the uh, gun to that Cobra Con right after I went through these boxes. So uh, shout out once again to my good buddy Evil Villain for providing me with all these awesome things. I don't deserve it, but dang it all, I have them anyways. And uh, not sure how many more boxes we're going to be sending back and forth to each other because I'm running out of stuff to send him and I like to send people stuff too it's just it costs money to do that and well you guys already know what my budget is and my funds and income and whatnot for the stuff it, it's lower than probably every single other YouTube channel probably maybe I don't know I can't prove or uh, confirm nor deny that but um, I am on a pretty strict budget uh, a monthly budget so uh, while I would like to send people stuff it's just it, it costs a lot especially nowadays because shipping sucks so um, just ask T-Biz how much I paid to get him that Aerithir Mythic Legions 2 pack um, yeah, I'm still not over that but with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed today's edition of what's in the box Stay tuned, I got my top 13 action figures of 2022 video coming at you tomorrow. Looking forward to that. And then the final monthly channel update for both February and January of 2023 will go up the day after that. And then your boy is taking a break for at least a week, probably more. I want to revamp this channel. This channel needs to change there needs to be some changes i wouldn't mind getting some lights i wouldn't mind getting a turntable i wouldn't mind i don't know just being better at doing this stuff because you guys don't come here for you know the first in-hand review you come here because you give a crap about my opinion which says a lot about your sanity or lack thereof and uh i'm grateful for that but you guys deserve a little bit better. So I want, I want to try and make my videos a little better. Maybe a little shorter. A little bit more streamlined. We're going to see what happens. Because last year, early last year, we started doing that. But it just got uh, too much. So I'm going to try and do it. But not do too much. You know. We'll see how it goes. But on top of that, uh, I'm out of content. So <laughs> we got we to gotta rebuild the content. Again, I'm waiting on pre-orders to show up. Animal Warriors are shipping, Four Horsemen are shipping stuff. They're supposed to be getting more stuff in for the War of the Aether Blade, as well as All Stars 5 Plus. So we'll see how that goes. But with that being said, if you're so inclined, please feel free to do all the YouTube rigmarole as well. And hit me up over on Instagram at Overlord Productions if you ever want to talk toys. Anything in particular as the number one best way to get a hold of yours truly. But as always, keep comment, Civil. Because the world sucks enough as it is, especially when. Last I did this, I neglected to showcase a, is it knockoff or bootleg? Something of that nature. Masterpiece Ultra Magnus that Evil Villain sent me. He was sitting on my bed. I was going to get him out for the video. And I just forgot. That sucks, because that was actually a really nice figure. But I digress. At least I remember the two things I forgot this time, right? wrong i don't like doing that but either way it is what it is so with that being said till next time i'll catch you guys later <laughs>